All right, guys, so we're going to do another lead code challenge. It's called Increasing Order Tree. We're given a binary search tree, and we want to re rearrange the tree in an order so that the leftmost node in the tree is now the root of the tree, and every node has no left child and only one right child. So as you can see here, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. What we want to do is make sure that the tree is now in order and everything has is only... There's no left child and everything is increasing order from the root, from the smallest to the largest, only through the right child. So I'll give you time to do this and then I'll explain my solution. So what I did here in my solution is I kept a vector called an integer that keeps track of all the values that we're going to and I'm going to use an in-order traversal. So in order to use an in-order traversal, I create a function called in-order. In-order is going to basically go to the, if the root is null, then we return nothing. It's going to go to the left node, then go to the current node, and then go to the right node. So once we go to left node, uh, we pass in the left, left node and the va values that we're at. And then it's going to go to the current node, and we're going to add the current node to the current node's value to our vector, and it's going to go to the right node. And then it does this recursively for in order traversal. After in order is done, we're going to essentially have a vector that has all the values in order. The vector is an array that has all the values in order, so it's going to go have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go through, we're going to create a new tree node that this is going to be a dummy tree, dummy tree node. This dummy tree node is going to have initial value of 0. So th that's the initial value, it's just a dummy tree node, that's what it's going to have. We're going, to have, we're going to have a current pointer point to this new dummy tree node that has initial value 0. Now we're going to go through all the values of, of the vector vals because vals now has all the values in order, right? Because we did an in order traversal. We're going to go through all the in order values of vals and basically what we're going to do is we're just going to create a new node for every time f with the, uh, the corresponding value and then we're going to set that sets current's right node to equal that new node okay then we're gonna uh, have current point to the next node every time we add a new node to ensure that every time we're gonna add a new node it's gonna always be the right node so it's gonna be one's gonna add a new node to then of two so it's gonna point the two to here and uh, add a new node of two to the right side and then it's gonna have current point to two and then it's going to add another node 3 and then increase the current to point to the 3 and then it's going to do uh, go on and so forth. Then we're going to return answer dot, dot, uh, answer right. The reason why we're going to return answer right is because answer was our dummy node that had an initial value of 0. So we want to return the right answers right which is going to be the first value that we added. Okay? Because in this case we're going to assume that uh, there's, the root is actually going to be 0 because we added a dummy node and we added all the increasing values based to the right of the dummy node. So that's why we're going to return answer right. And yeah, that's basically how you would do this. That was my solution to this problem, but there is a better solution. Okay, so there's one better solution. Another way to do this is through relinking. So this is a better, in terms of space, this is a way better, better solution to do. What we're basically going to do is we are going to do the same thing of in order traversal. We're going to do in order if root node is equal to null, we return. And then we go to the left child and then rather than adding the the current node to a vector and uh for all the values in order, what we're going to do is we're going to do rerouting. So what we're going to do is we're going to set current node's left is going to point to null so that's going to get rid of the left node and then we're going to point the current's right node point to a current's right node is going to point to the current node uh, to the new node that we're adding and then we set current to is equal to the new node uh, new node's right position and then we pass in in order right the reason what this is going to do is going to change the routing of the actual uh, tree so basically what we're doing is we're having a global variable called tree node current 
and then this tree node current is going to essentially do all the rerouting by going through every single node in the tree but changing its the original tree's value so what we do is we create a new dummy we still have a dummy tree node called dummy tree node answer we're gonna have current point to that originally we're gonna have current point to the dummy tree node we're gonna call in order root and then the, the current is basically gonna do all the rerouting here and then we're going to return answers right which is the first value past our dummy tree node the reason why we're gonna return answer right is because all the values are gonna get be added after our dummy answer answers the, the dummy tree node has value 0 all the the first value is going to be the right value of our dummy tree node for adding after answer so that's why we return answers right and that's going to prevent us from having that dummy tree node so yeah that's all that's the better solution is to actually modify the original value inside the algorithm in the original tree hope you guys enjoyed this video rate comment subscribe i'll check